evening, everybody, and welcome to the woods. I am Sasquatch, otherwise known as Gavi Sauce from YouTube and Capcom Community. Thank you all for coming by today. I hope you have a great time and maybe learn something. Uh, today, I want to talk about what actually happened yesterday. Um, as some of you may or may not know, um, yesterday a rather impressive thing went on in the United States Senate. And for those of you wondering right now, Stoic and some friends of mine who know how I can get off on political tirade, don't worry, this is not going to turn my channel into a political tirade channel. Um, it's just something happened yesterday that I thought was significant, and perhaps people should be aware of it. Um, specifically, what happened is a certain senator from Kentucky, one named Rand Paul, uh, the son of former congressman and presidential candidate Ron Paul, uh, successfully filibustered a bill coming before Congress which would essentially allow the President of the United States or any appointed high official of government to decide without any trial or um, any sort of means of due process assigned to us by the fourth, well not the fourth, but the fifth amendment, um, to just arbitrarily be assassinated. Off American soil, on American soil, doesn't matter if they think you're a bad guy, and then no proof is necessary. Just, I think you're a bad guy, you are doing this something whether wrong, uh, so we're going to kill you. Doesn't matter wh where you are, who you are, just because we think that you might be a bad guy. We hereby decree ourselves the power to kill you. Now, this is obviously a very bad thing, and it should not happen, and I think anyone with a gr even a remote sense of thought can agree with this, that giving the United States government, or any government for that matter, that type of unchecked power over its own citizens, who it is first and foremost tasked with protecting, is a bad thing. Now, um, as I said, he successfully filibustered it. Um, he stood before the members of the Senate for 12 hours straight, decrying the evils. I will use that word, that's a strong word. The evils of this bill. To just arbitrarily say, okay, just because we think, no, no proof. Like, like I said, no proof. It's completely overstepping every sort of bounds of human reason, thoughts, sanity, anything, to just say, I think you might be doing something wrong, or you might do something wrong in the future. And so, to preempt that, what we're going to do is we're just going to kill you now, so we don't have to give you a trial or go through all that messy, the messiness of saying, well of actually gathering evidence to support your claims. As I said, successfully fil filibustered by Rand Paul. Um, a couple interesting things that happened uh, during the, not during the course, but at the end. And I'll probably post a video, the video of uh, this in the comments for people who want to check it out. Uh, and maybe a couple more, because he's kind of, uh, Rand Paul is kind of like my, my hope for America right now. I'm really hoping that he, uh, follows through and runs for president in 2016. I know that if he does, I will be voting for him absolutely 100%. If he does not, I may still write in his name just for the heck of it because I think, heck, he's... He is actually providing demonstrable actions. I mean, not just saying, well, I think this or I think that, or this would be a nice idea, but actually standing up and saying, okay, this is wrong, this needs to be corrected, and here is my plan on how to do it. And he's not waiting until the presidential election to say, okay, well, here's, to, to waiting until like, oh, well, now I can become a president and fix stuff. No, even, even now he is stopping bills and things like this that are coming before Congress that completely trample over and shred the Constitution and stopping them in their tracks. That, to me, is a sign of a good and strong and capable leader and someone who I personally would... I don't, I don't want to tell anyone what they have to what, the, what to do. Absolutely, I think everyone should be informed, should go out and seek out their, this, their own information, uh, come to their own conclusions, but personally, this is a man who I think should 
be running this country. Um, as opposed to people who just, as opposed to other, some other people who uh, are not so conscientious. That's a good word. That's a good way to put it. Um, anyway, as I said, he, fill, he successfully filibustered. For those who don't know, that means he basically took over the Senate floor for 12 for 12 hours and didn't let anybody else speak in order to prevent people from being able to vote on this issue. And like I said, he was successful. And when he finished, he, not he, but he, not, not he himself, but it was inspired from what he said and from the impassioned tonality in which he said it, that at the end of his successful filibuster, Senate rules were broken by other members of the Senate, in that as he stepped down, one of the rules of the Senate is that no forms of either uh, promotion or detraction are allowed in the general forum. Like, if you agree with what someone says, you're not allowed to start applauding. If you're in disagreement, you're not allowed to go, boo, go home, go back to your state, you're a moron type of stuff. It's it's a very, um, it's supposed to be a very professional uh Nonpartisan atmosphere where what needs to be said can be said in open form without any sort of immediate reprisal. Uh, the reprisal should come from the voters, not from your fellow uh, congressmen and senators and what have you. Um, but when he stepped down, applause just erupts. Not really, I think I will put this in the, in the description, um, the video where this happens, and the the, the chairman. Was on was for at least several minutes unable to regain control of the Senate, in that this applause continued. Again, uh, just to, just to me, that is a sign of a leader, someone who can so dramatically move a group a group of people or a body of people to actively depart from something that they know. The, something that has been established for many, many years. So, some to be able to shift. And I, I realize it's against the rules of the Senate and they're there for a reason. But I, I just found it so uh, encouraging to find that we still have, that there is still someone who can do that type of thing. To be able to speak to a body of people and uh, intimate to them so profoundly his sense of urgency and importance over, over an issue like this that. The stodgy old senators who make up our our legislative branch gave him a rousing, standing, extended ovation in a place where they were not allowed to do so. Uh, just, just for me, that, I find that very, very uh, impressive, uh, very encouraging. Uh, as I said, I'm really hoping I'm really hoping that he does end up running in 2016. Um, for those of you wondering, I'm not going to just like stand on, stand on his bandwagon, shout his praises all through this. He does have several, uh, a few things that I uh, disagree with him on, and he did make a decision at um, during the last election period, which I, to me, left a very bitter taste in my mouth about him uh, for a while. I I understand why he did it. Um, specifically, what I'm talking about is um, during the Republican National Convention. Uh, there were two people still actively running in the Republican Party. Uh, Mitt Romney, who won the election, and Rand Paul's father, Ron Paul, who um, was actually barred from entering the convention, and all of his supporters were basically kicked out, and he had his own separate convention on the other side of town from the Republican National Convention, or the RNC, whatever, um, concurrently. And what Rand Paul did that, I, uh, that really uh, struck me as distasteful or uh, not exactly, almost, uh, mm, I don't want to say betrayed his father, but it kind of felt like that, I suppose. What he did was instead of backing his father, I mean his, his father, like flesh and blood, out of your loins I came type of thing, um, Instead of going to his father's convention and backing him and saying, "Okay, we fought hard, we fought long, we have we have just about as many votes as this guy does," and they did, 
Um, they've changed the laws and they, they've changed the uh, party rules since then so that that type of thing can't happen anymore, which is a whole different video if I decide to go on another political tirade some of the time. But uh, instead of sticking with his father and saying, okay, I, you, you're not, not even that just that you are a, a, another legitimate candidate, but that you are my own father. Instead of going to that separate convention with his father and endorsing him, he instead went to the Republican National Convention and instead endorsed Mitt Romney in a very public forum. And it was like, ah, it just doesn't. Um, it, it didn't strike me as being the correct course of action. It seemed very. Um, almost like the appeasement that went on. Uh, pre in the prelude to the World War II, where it's like, I understand that what you're doing, blah, 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 blah. I, I, I don't agree with it. Say, well, because no, that, that's, a, that's a bad example. But it, it, it just struck me as wrong. Why would you endorse someone who you disagree with on multiple points? And he does disagree with Mitt Romney on multiple, multiple points. Um, he's very much in tune with a lot of things that his father says. Um, and I'm running out of time here, but um, it, it just struck me as wrong. Um, and there, there are several other things that I disagree with him on, but asi aside from things like that, and that, that could be considered a petty thing, it was probably a political move and he wanted to make sure that uh, at least the establishment, the established Republicans would listen to him in the coming days. Um, well, if you should try to run, but I don't know. It, it, it just struck me as wrong. Um, like I said, I'll, I'll put some uh, videos down below. Uh, maybe his RNC speech um, and some and some of his stuff on like foreign aid and policy, which I trend, which I absolutely agree with him on his foreign aid um, positions. Um, but yeah, take a look, decide for yourselves. Uh, tell me what you think. If you like this video. Drop a like down below, subscribe, thank you all, God bless, have a great time, and I will see you next time.